I'm on the Helford River in southeast Cornwall. This is Bounty's End, a 23 foot wooden lugger. She's not the easiest boat to sail. I'm going to be taking her up the Helford all the way to Greek and back. might catch something. Most of what I do here is fishing for mackerel, uh, for squid, herring, seasonal gilt-ed bream as well. We operate 40 lobster pots and I also make and fish withy lobster pots as well. What's special about the Helford? The fishing's fantastic, the diving's very good, people are really friendly. We've got a fantastic pub, both sides of the river as well, so it's a great place to live and work. Treba was one of the embarkation points for the US 29th Infantry Division that left from Treba Beach for those tragic landings in Normandy. The beach was actually concreted over and the Red Reef Reserve Guard created this sort of trackway. They widened all the roads from Falmouth um, so they could get access for all the vehicles. Uh, and then they had two landing craft uh, and then around about 7,500 men left from Treba Beach. 7,500, I mean, it's just extraordinary and what an incredible feat. Now I've been sailing around the Helford and looking at some of these you know, incredible ancient woodlands and the vibrancy of the colour. Why is that? Why is the Helford so significant? I think we're very lucky. We have the benefit of the, the Gulf Stream which warms the waters around Cornwall and that sort of keeps um, this area a little bit more sort of frost free which means we can grow some of these wonderful exotic plants. absolutely love pushing the limits in these pine needle creeks when your tide's going out you know that it's quite easy to sort of put your eye off the ball and end up on a mud flat and get stuck just look at this amazing river i mean we're only about a mile away from Greek from the seal sanctuary there's no housing a couple of tiny little boat houses here you just get a real sense of just being in nature. We've got all this incredible woodland and no properties. It's just absolutely beautiful. The Cornish Seal Sanctuary is about as far upstream as I can go on Bounty. The Cornish Seal Sanctuary is one of Cornwall's most heartwarming stories. We've been around since the 60s and today we're welcoming grandparents who are bringing their grandkids here and it's just amazing for people to be able to come and see our vital conservation work and all the work we're doing with the seal rescue and rehab here in, in Greek. It's so sheltered up in this little river here. I mean, because everything's so high, the woods and the trees are so high up, we're, we're really sheltered in here. It makes the, actually the sailing quite difficult. I'm just losing the wind here now and we're just being carried up by the current. What an absolutely stunning part of the river this is. Captain Bly, the original skipper of HMS Bounty, spent time on the Helford. His direct descendant, Tom Bly, now calls the river home. He was sounding the Helford River and he went ashore in Frenchman's Creek and was sitting on the, on the quay, which is still there. And a couple of locals jumped him, thinking he was a French spy, and carted him off to the vicarage in Menachem and 
locked him up in the basement and then went off to get the, the, the vicar and the, the local Bobby. Uh, when they arrived, they were horrified to find they had a very irate naval officer <laughs> on their hands. But anyway, they all calmed down and they went to dinner in the local inn. What are the unique features that you really love about the river? It's a fabulous sailing ground for a start. And the sailing up and down the coast is, is fabulous because there's just so many lovely, lovely places to go in. You just stop and just listen. You can hear the sound of the wildlife. It's absolutely beautiful. I've really loved exploring both the Helford River and the River Fowl. These are two of Cornwall's most iconic places to sail, full of history, full of nature, and I can't wait to return.